Hello guys, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. I just update my iPhone to iOS 16.4. But when I open my iPhone, I notice that the weather app in the top left corner doesn't show anything. It's annoying. If you are experiencing the same problem as me, don't worry. I'm going to show you 5 ways to fix the weather widget not working on iPhone after updating. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is check out your internet related. Just go ahead and open up Safari and try to visit any website as possible. M. I can access the Apple official website smoothly. Let's proceed to the next step. Method 2. Ensure the weather app location service are enabled. Open settings and choose privacy and services. Go to the location service section and tap it. Now turn on the toggle option. Finally, tap weather option and allow location access while using the app or widgets. Afterward, turn on your precise location to fix your weather problem on your iPhone. After doing that, go back home page to check if the weather app is working. Method 3. Check out your date and time. Sometimes this problem can happen if your date and time are not accurate. So go to settings. Tap general. Date and time, and you can set it automatically. Or you can manually set it from the time zone. Method 4. Reset all settings. Go ahead and reset all your setting may fix your problem. Go to settings and tap general. Scroll down and find transfer and reset iPhone. Tap reset and reset all settings. This process will also return network settings back to the factory default. When the phone restarts, try to connect to Wi-Fi again. This might work. Method 5. Repair iOS issue with Rayboot. Save and no data loss. This time I will use an iOS system repair tool. It can repair more than 150 iOS system issues. And it also contains downgrade function. Check out the download link in the description and download it. Then connect your iPhone to the PC. Then open Reiboot and click the green start button. On this page, I recommend you choose the standard repair to proceed. This is very safe for your data. Then Reiboot will download the latest firmware that matches your iPhone. Just click it. Be patient. Once downloaded, click start standard repair. It will take about 10 minutes. Don't disconnect your iPhone during the process. Then it is done. Wait a few minutes for loading, then you can see my weather app is working normally. And all my data is still there. What's more, if you want to downgrade to iOS 16.3, go back to Rayboot, click Downgrade iOS, and choose Deep Downgrade. The process is similar to the standard repair, so go ahead and try it out. Till now, have you solved your problem? If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe and stay tuned for our next video.